Hello, I'm Benjamin Beaver with Coldwell Banker Patterson Properties, and today we're talking about selling your house by owner. I am a real estate agent, obviously, um, so I'll just be the first to admit, you can sell your house by owner. It can be done. Um, is it a bad idea? Not necessarily. I think it just depends on um, you know, how much time you have, if, if you're not in a hurry to sell your house, if this sounds like something that would be fun for you um, to take on as a project, if you don't mind taking the calls and you're up for uh, the challenge, then it's not necessarily a bad idea. Now, I'll just be, I'll be honest, um, and my hopes in making this video is that I decided I'm gonna give you some helpful tips, some things that will actually help you in selling your house by owner knowing that a lot of people that start out that way eventually decide to go a different direction. Some get it done. Some people, it works great for them. And either way, um, I want to I wanna help because, you know, ultimately, if you do decide to go a different direction, you may think to hire me. Or you may be so happy with the tips that I gave you, they may work, you may sell your house in a week. And when one of your friends is looking for a real estate agent, you'll say, hey, I know the guy you need to call. So that's my angle, and I'm really gonna try to give you some tips here that are gonna be helpful. The first tip I wanna give you um, to sell your house by owner is to widen your market. You know, if, if all you have is a sign in the yard, then there's gonna be, depending on how busy your street is, there's gonna be a certain amount of people that drive by, see the sign, tell somebody they know, and your market is, say, about this wide. So you've got that many you know, potential buyers that um, have at least seen your house that know that it's there. Um, internet is incredibly important these days. So many buyers are online months before they ever contact a real estate agent even. So getting your house online in every way possible is only going to help you. There's a couple economical ways to do that. Uh, Craigslist is one that's totally free. Craigslist.com. Um, is gaining some momentum in San Angelo. More and more people are looking at it. I would recommend putting your house on Craigslist. You have to update it every five days or so, or else it will um, kind of uh, go down too far on the list and people won't see it. Um, for salebyowner.com, uh, you, can, you can upload houses to there. So some buyers that are aware of that are searching on there. So both of those things will just kind of widen your market and give your house a broader appeal. You know, it's the same reason we recommend painting neutral colors. It just has the broadest possible appeal when you're, you're only looking for that one buyer, but the wider you can go, uh, the more likely you are to get it um, for the price you want and in the time frame you want. I don't know that I would recommend the newspaper. It can get really expensive in a hurry. The thrifty nickel is a little thriftier, and there are, you know, a certain amount of people that are looking at those things. I mean, uh, it's, it's just a question of, you know, is it or is it not worth it for what you're going to spend um, doing things like that. I wouldn't underestimate the power of social media. I use Facebook as a real estate agent to post videos and pictures of, of all my listings on social media sites, and I found that that also can be very effective. So just anything you can think of like that, the two big ones for salebyowner.com, craigslist.com, those will really help you to widen your market and get a lot more traction instead of people just driving by your house. I, I want to talk just for a second about looking good online, your house, um, the way it appears online. You know, when buyers are shopping, they have just a huge amount of properties that they are constantly scanning through. It's basically a process of elimination. They've got kind of their criteria in mind, what they want in a house, and they're just going through, knocking as many off as possible, hopefully to come out with a short list that they're going to really try to investigate. So you want your house to make that short list. So the best way to do that, something I have found that has been worth it to me, I personally hire a professional photographer and a professional videographer to do pictures and a video of every house that I list. Uh, that's an out-of-pocket expense for me, but I've found that it's totally worth it because you can't underestimate the power of a strong online presence these days. Um, personally, I use ByTheStreamMedia.com uh, and they do a really great job. Uh, you can check them out. But I find that having those pictures and actual, an actual YouTube video of the house that shows details and they do a good job goes a long way. Buyers love that. Uh, you know, just last week, last Monday, I listed a house uh, in Santa Rita. And 
Three days later, we had an offer sight unseen, meaning they, they didn't see it in person, they saw it online, thought, I don't want someone to buy this house out from under me, and they brought us a contract. So that's the power of, of what we're talking about. And that also goes back to what I said about widening your market, broader appeal. So having it look good online is really important if, you, uh, if you're serious about selling your house. Um, you know, some other things uh, when doing buy owner, just more details. You know, um, list all the benefits that are possible. If you have double pane windows, list that. People look for things that are energy efficient. Um, as many details as possible and also um, a video. And you may not have the capability of doing a video. It's, it's not essential, but I highly recommend it. And like I said, uh, buythestreammedia.com does a great job for that. Okay, let's talk about curb appeal. We already talked about you know having your house look really good online, high quality pictures. So the thing that will work with those high quality pictures is curb appeal. Now, because the first picture and usually the largest picture uh, of your house is going to be the one of the outside and there's going to be one picture and then from there they'll have the option to click on it and look at more. So you want to really draw them in. You don't want them to just pass by. Uh, there's a couple things that I would recommend that are really inexpensive and I find go a long way. The two things I recommend, color and mulch. So you talk about color. Uh, this does not have to be extravagant. I'm talking about a couple of hanging plants, maybe some potted plants, uh, maybe a, a few different flowers. Um, Lowe's has some purple cabbage that you hardly ever have to water that you could just plant at various uh, spots if you have any flower beds. Um, you know, go with your own personal tastes, but just find ways to incorporate color and you'd be surprised at, at the difference that makes. The other thing is mulch. Lots of mulch. Mulch is great. Okay, so you've got all these, you know, every house is different, but you'll have these different areas out in front where you're like, I don't really know what to do with this area. Maybe it's already a flower bed. Uh, if it is, fill it with mulch and fill it thick. Don't skimp on it, because you, you'd be amazed at how this makes a house feel finished, even new and fresh. Uh, and then you've got an area that you're not really sure what to do with. Um, I would recommend getting some of that flower bed liner and, and just line it out and then fill it with mulch. Uh, those two things, color and mulch, will go a long way for your curb appeal. And one last thing that's optional, depending on the style of your house, um, painting your door. Paint it a not so neutral color, something that makes it pop a little bit, you know, either kind of um, even a, you know, a reddish color or maybe even a teal, I don't know. Uh, you just think about it because it, you'd be amazed at how it kind of makes your house pop and makes people take a second look. Next, let's talk about the inside of the house. Um, we've talked about the outside, we've got them in. So now that they're in, what are they going to see? Anyone who's watched HGTV knows you want to depersonalize and declutter. I wouldn't get too crazy with depersonalizing. People know that other people live in this house, so it's okay to have some family pictures and, and whatnot. Um, some good ideas, uh, if you have, say, excessive family pictures, instead of taking down all the frames, just take some pictures of nature or various kinds of artistic looking things and just replace them uh, in the frames. And that way you don't have to worry about patching a bunch of frame holes and, and things like that. Um, you know, to keep it simple, clear off every surface. You know, clean off every surface of everything that is not essential. Um, have one or two, you know, decorative items on each, you know, on, um, you know, end tables. Uh, if you have a dining room table and some nice, um, you know, china or, um, you know, I don't even know if people, do people still use china? You know, some, the, what do you call the nice glasses? You know, whatever those are, whatever your nice stuff is, have that out on the dining room table. Um, inviting, you know, you want to have things like a Scentsy candle or Glade plugins, whatever you've got there. These are all things that people don't really necessarily think about that they're noticing, but you know, their sensory perception is noticing these things and it just kind of creates this overall a warmer feeling of the house uh, when it feels a little bit more inviting. Um, and they want to be able to picture themselves in there, so that's why you do want to depersonalize you know, within reason and declutter if you've, if you've got, um, you know, just stuff lining the walls. You don't want to completely clear it out to where it's like, well, what is this space used for? People are looking for functional space, so you want to kind of give each individual space um, a name. Say you have a corner, you know, it needs to have maybe a chair and, and a table or maybe a desk. Anyway, 
any of this stuff that you guys would like more information on, uh, please feel free to call me. My contact information, uh, you've got it, and it'll also be at the at the end of the video. I'm more than happy uh, to help uh, people do for sale by owner just because it's the same kind of principle. I know that if I help you out, um, it'll eventually, you know, and could eventually help me in the long run. And lastly, I just want to end um, talking just a little bit about what we do at Coldwell Banker. Um, I think any professional who's worth hiring is going to add value to the transaction and end up being worth it. And I believe for us, uh, we, we really raise the bar and you, you end up a lot better off with us than without us. So having said everything uh, previously about widening your market, obviously if you hire an agent, your market goes from, you know, you start out for sale by owner, you use some of the tools we talked about, but obviously going with Coldwell Banker, we hit, we hit it with everything we've got. We dominate the internet. We use, we, you know, for people that are still reading the newspaper, we're there. For people watching Cable Mart, Channel 9, we're there. Um, we're, we're everywhere online. And all the online sites that people look at to shop homes are populated by one site uh, called Navica. So when we import a house there uh, with our professional pictures and a professional video, it populates to all the other sites. And after that, uh, we can add it to things like Craigslist and kind of cover up those, those loose ends. Also, I use things like social media that I've found hugely effective. Um, I like to think we hit it like a sledgehammer and really get things out there. Uh, besides that, you've got the professional services of an agent, a skilled negotiator working on your behalf to get you what you want. And you essentially sit back and relax and we do the whole process from, or, you know, um, organizing the showings, doing open houses. This is my full-time job. You know, for me, my wife stays home. I've got three kids, so I'm, I'm invested in this and I take it seriously. And you know, one thing that people don't always think about is that here in San Angelo, we have a lot of people coming in through relocation. These are large relocation companies who are working with Coldwell Banker that are bringing in people for Goodfellow Air Force Base, various uh, professional trades, a lot with the oil field lately. And these people are coming in, they're not looking at, at any, you know, for sale by owner websites, they are coming in through our office and being assigned to agents. Every week, um, every Tuesday at 8.30, we have a weekly office meeting. At Coldwell Banker, we're the largest office in town, so we have the most agents in town and we represent the most buyers in town. A lot of these buyers that are coming in through relocation uh, have certain things that they're looking for, along with all the other buyers. So every week we get together and the agents talk about what we have coming up, new listings that are gonna be coming up, buyer needs, and we try to work things out right there in the office meeting. And a lot of deals happen um, before the house even hits the market. So you've got not only everything looking good online for you, but you've got the largest office in town uh, literally uh, networking with each other, trying to get your house sold. So I could, I could go on for a while, but I think I've hit the highlights. Um, you can sell your house by owner, uh, widen your market as much as you can. It can be done. But if you decide to go a different direction and hire a professional, I truly believe we are more than worth uh, our rate and that we can get it done in a timely manner and help you move on with your life. And I really am serious about if you have any questions about anything I've talked about, if you want me to come by and kind of help you, um, you know, declutter, depersonalize, ask me any questions. I am more than happy to help with for sale by owner um, just because I know that uh, if I help you out, uh, it, it is ultimately good for business for me. My contact information is here at the end of the video. Call me, email me if you have any questions. I look forward to hearing from you.